It's been a very slow economic recovery. Unemployment rates still at a staggering 9.1 percent. The housing market in the tank. Many of us have begun to doubt whether America's best days are still ahead of us. What's gone wrong and what can be done to get things back on track? My next guest has been nominated for a Pulitzer Prize for his seven-part series in the Virginian Pilot, examining the boom and bust in the South. Now he's looking at America. Stephen Beschloss is the co-author of Adrift, charting our course back to a great nation. Steve, welcome. Great to see you. Jerry, it's great to be with you. All right. Why did you want to write this book? Well, several years ago when my co-author and I began working on it, we had a growing sense that the country was at risk of becoming a second-rate nation, economically, politically, educationally. And we saw that America's leaders, rather than banding together to turn things around, were mired in partisan warfare. Anybody who's followed this deficit fiasco has sort of seen that, uh, that they've been unable to come sure. together and solve the dysfunction that's uh, really taken over Washington. But we haven't lost our way. I mean, we can get back on track, right? Well, I, I, I believe that we can, but of course it, it takes some focus. Uh, and that's, you know, the failure of strategic leadership that we've seen at the national level, and we've seen it a lot of other ways as well. You know, some American politicians talk about American exceptionalism. Do you believe in that? Well, I think, you know, we, our country was founded with uh, an extraordinary group of people. I mean, our founding fathers created uh, uh, an extraordinary, you know, constitution and uh, declaration of independence. Uh, and they've created a system that's adaptable and uh, capable of evolving and uh, uh, important for us to self-govern ourselves. But what's happened is, is that we've gone through a number of decades where we're boasting about being number one. Well, that's great, but of course we have to take a look at the facts, and the United States has been coasting. We've been coasting. Coasting on our, on, on our coattails, on what we did before. Well, Is that know, what you mean? We came out of World War II, and the United States at that time really was the preeminent economic power in the world. Uh, you know, we had the GI Bill, which, uh, which brought millions of uh, returning veterans. It gave them the opportunity to go to school, to own homes. Mm -hmm. It helped to really create the stable middle class. We were the leaders in terms of education, uh, and the rest of the world was really not even close to us educationally. You know, we were able to coast really on that, and now we're at a point where the rest of the world has begun to catch up. So what do we do? Well, we have a lot of things that we need to do. Uh, you know, again, it's, uh, you know, partly it takes a, from a point of the citizenship. I mean, we really do need Americans to actually begin to vote again. You know, one of the things that happens at the primary time uh, is that the uh, small margins on the, on the left and on the right are the ones who are actually voting, which means that the most extremes on the left and the right are the ones coming into office. That's not really good for the country at this point. That's one thing. And then we need to refocus on education. Uh, we need to focus on innovation. We need to focus on research and development. Uh, we need to focus on the things that actually help to build the country's strength. Let's talk a bit, a bit about leadership, because that's your last chapter, and I think that's what we've really been missing. You look at what's gone on this week. Uh, and last week, uh, S&P downgraded treasuries, an embarrassment, a humiliation for the country, not good news. And what happened? The president went on the campaign trail. Congress is home. Uh, why aren't these people getting back to work? I mean, I've been talking about this all week, that it's time for people to step up and start making some hard decisions and, and finding an answer to our problems. Well, I, th I completely agree with you. It's very disappointing what's happening and, and, and why, why it was that we went through really this kind of crisis-minded decision-making that happened in the last month. You know, the fact is, a year ago I talked to Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson. They were part of the Bipartisan yeah. Deficit Commission. And at that time, the two of them were saying, look, we're capable of making hard decisions. You know, four trillion dollars in cuts. They came up with a combination. But nobody listened to and this. Nobody Steve. listened. They finished their results. A majority of them voted yes for it. The Congress ignored it, and the president ignored it. And uh, you know, this is something that we have to get beyond. And it really does come back to citizens saying, you know, this is not the way we want our leadership to operate. I think it's ridiculous we have a super Congress. We have a real Congress. It's actually described in the Constitution, and it's supposed to make the hard calls. But they don't want to do it. Well, it's a pretty clear way of describing the failure that exists. We couldn't actually make a real decision under normal circumstances. We weren't able to take a look at the hard problems. We weren't able to find a way to compromise and work together. So, hey, let's create a super committee that will then uh, decide for us because we can't. Well, Steve, it was great to see you again. Uh, good luck with the book, and thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Well, what do you think about this? Can America be great again? Here's what some of you are tweeting me at Jerry Willis FBN. Richard says, sure, we are still great, just broken. Money, jobs, leadership, without impeachment, we have to wait until the 2012 election. And how about this? 
Jerry, I think the only way America can be great again is for the U.S. to quit aiding other countries with our tax dollars. Here's your chance to weigh in on the question tonight. Can America be great again? Yes or no? Uh, yes, no, or it always has been. Log on to jerrywillis.com. Take the poll on the right-hand side of your screen. I'll share the results at the end of tonight's show. And like me on Facebook, we had some great conversations. We'd love to hear from you. You can always send me a snail mail email, willisreport at foxbusiness.com.